How can we be renewed? Secondly, by being in the presence of God, we gain a renewed strength. Let me read this headline to you today. Americans are tired most of the week. Do I got a witness in the house? You're tired most of the week. I did a study on tiredness, and I found this article, and this is what it says. How many days of the week do you wake up feeling exhausted? If you really feel like a slave to your alarm clock, you're not alone. One, only one in seven Americans wake up feeling fresh every day of the week, according to a poll conducted by YouGov. Experts have traditionally recommended eight hours. Those seven hours should be sufficient. 45% of Americans sleeping seven to eight hours a night reported feeling tired or fatigued up to three times a week. 27% of people said they wake up tired on four or more days a week. Listen, there's a tiredness that comes from lack of sleep, right? There's a tiredness that comes from getting a little older. I, I experience that on occasion. If you're over 50, you can sleep in church. That's all right. I, it's okay. Just <laughs> take a little nap. You need it. All right? It's all right. But how many of you know there's another kind of weariness that goes beyond just physical weariness, right? It comes from stress anxiety, worry, fear, dealing with situations day after day, dealing with the pressure of the job, dealing with high, high emotional stress situations. Uh, you can see uh, an emotional tiredness in somebody who's a caregiver or someone who's walking with somebody who's been in the, who's been in the hospital for many, many, many days. You can, you can just see the tiredness. And what happens is they need to be renewed. Am I right? They need their strength renewed. How many of you know that life can wear you out? You say, well, what do I do, pastor? Do I need to take vitamins? Well, it wouldn't hurt, amen. Do you have some tranquilizers you're going to sell after church? Absolutely not. But I do know somebody who can give strength. Hello? Isaiah chapter 40 and verse number 29 says this. It says, he, speaking of the Lord, gives power to the weak and to those who have no might, he increases is strength. Come on. How many of you know that strength comes from the Lord? Strength comes from God. The long-term effect of being in the presence of the Lord is you feel like the psalmist did when he said, I can run through a troop and leap over a wall. Come on. When you're in the presence of God, it renews your strength. And it renews your ability to focus. It renews your ability to do what you need to to do I've got a question for you when your phone runs out of energy what do you do you plug it in and it's interesting that you don't expect that as soon as you plug it in, it's completely charged, right? You know it's going to take some time. How many of you know that we try to put God in a little box and we want an instant God? We say, Lord, I'm going to give you three minutes this morning and you better fill me up. How many of you know that's not the way it works? God's on his own timetable. It's when you spend some time with the Lord, quality time with the Lord in the presence of the Lord that you will receive his strength. I love this verse, Isaiah 40 and 31. If you've been saved very long, you probably have it already memorized. It says that those who wait on the Lord shall what? Renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. I believe that one of the most healthy things that a person can do in their life is just to wait in the presence of God. Just be with the Lord. You know, some people say, well, what does that mean, just wait on the Lord? That, that kind of sounds like being lazy. How many of you know waiting on the Lord is not lazy? It's not apathy. It's connecting to the God of the universe. Hello? It's getting our, ourselves recharged. Amen. And when you connect to God Almighty in heaven, it's going to impact you. The scripture says, have you not known, have you not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary in his presence is 
fullness of joy. Amen. At his right hand are pleasures forevermore. And it says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Come on. We've got to learn how to wait. Now, if you're like me, I don't like to wait. It's my money and I want it now. You've heard that commercial. Oh, that's an annoying one, right? We don't like to wait, but waiting on the Lord is important. And waiting on the Lord means that we're depending upon God. Waiting on the Lord is not saying, I'm going to run out and get this thing solved all by myself. What it's saying is, Lord, I'm trusting you to, do, to guide me, to lead me, to show me. I need to hear your voice. I need you to show me where to go, what to do. Come on. Waiting always includes time and patience. Waiting on the Lord is subjecting our will to His terms and His timing. And just like your cell phone was designed for periods of functionality, followed by periods of recharging and renewing, you're creating creator designed you in that same way come on how many of you know we're fearfully and wonderfully made we have 24 hours in a day but you'll be stronger and healthier if you sleep for eight hours come on the scripture tells us that God put a pattern in the in the world six days you will work and on the seventh day you do what you rest do I have any people who like to sleep on Sunday afternoon amen you're a saint then, sister, because S-A-I-N-T, Sunday afternoon is nap time. Amen. Amen. Sunday afternoon is nap time. You're a saint if you sleep on Sunday afternoons. Amen. And let me tell you, there's another thing that has to happen if we're going to be spiritually renewed. That somehow during our day, we connect with God Almighty. James 1.4 says this, Let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. I don't know when you wait on the Lord. Maybe it's on your way to work. Or maybe it's on your lunch break. Or maybe you get up a little early in the morning or stay up a little late at night. But I want to encourage you, come on, to wait on the Lord. Amen. Put on some praise and worship music and just sit down and wait on the Lord. Go out in the backyard and enjoy the cool weather that God's going to give us. Hello. Is there anybody looking forward to cool weather? Amen. Just enjoy the blessings of God. Amen. And just sit with Him for a while and say, Lord, I need you to renew my strength. And I can guarantee you that if you're in the presence of the Lord, He'll give you the strength that you need. Come on. Can we give the Lord a big hand of praise today?